Greyhound Basketball presented by George Kell Motor Company, your authorized Chevrolet Buick GMC dealer. You can give them a call, 870-523-2792. Check out all their inventory online at georgekellmotors.com. Be sure to watch the auto show on Channel 8, 6.30 a.m. each and every Saturday morning and on Facebook at Cable 15 TV. It's George Kell Motors, 3808 Van Dyke Road, exit 85 in Newport. Got Hayden Schultz along with uh, Coach Brandon Gates here in the booth. Uh, getting ready for a makeup game, Newport versus Pangburn here. Just the boys. Hayden Schultz, what are we going to see tonight? Well, it's the first broadcast I've ever done in a basketball game where the Hounds started up six to nothing. So I like that already, Ben. Good start. Good start. You know, like you said, I don't think I have ever broadcast a game where there was points scored before the contest started. Although, uh, will they be playing a full first quarter? Just a full four quarters tonight? Or are they going to shorten that up? Should should start at the. What was it, three minutes and 48 seconds? So it'll basically pick up right where we left off the other night. Ben, we'll have to go to ad right here while they do the national anthem. So 3.48 to go in the first quarter. Hounds are leading 6 to nothing as we leave off from the last time that we were up against these guys. And what well, it just felt like a lot of things were going right when we played them here that Friday and then the tornado hit and, you know, severe uh, weather all across uh, Arkansas kind of hit. So we had to postpone the game. But, boy, what a start for the Hounds, 6 to nothing. Brandon Gates. Oh, they look good. They look great. In fact, they came out with a lot of energy. Uh, Jalen Frazier got going, hit a couple shots there. So I hope that we can just stay with that, just keep that momentum going. Absolutely. Hounds come out and scored six real quick. It's a different crew, too, so they have no idea. <laughs> it's kind of a unique situation. I don't know how often a game gets postponed like that. I mean, I don't ever remember in my lifetime postponing a game. Or, or rescheduling a game, I guess you could say. That's uh, already been started. That's already been started, right. You either call it or, or whatever. But nonetheless, here we are at Greyhound Fieldhouse. More with the basketball. 3.40 to go, clock moving. We saw last time these Hounds came out and played Harding Academy that they tried to get Kylan Kreit the ball into space, into traffic, and I think that might be something that they try again tonight. I think that's a great idea. Kreit is an upcoming player for us, and, you know, him attacking, it looks good. looks a lot like Theron Davis used to look for us. Kreit can play forward, can play guard, mainly the guard position as the M&P insurance three-pointer no good, and there's Brennan Curry with a rebound. And that's kind of Brennan Curry's game is crashing the boards and not necessarily a trash bucket player, but he, he gets a lot of putbacks on, on the misses and things like that. And he's very valuable to this team, especially oh, on the defensive end. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's an old school heart type player. You know, he knows how to pump fake. He gets in there, he makes good moves, rebound, like you said, trash players, what they call them. And that's not a negative thing, that's a positive. Moore's M&P insurance three-pointer no good. Now Pangburn going the other way. 
Long possession there by the Hounds. 2.37 to play here in the first. Hounds look to come out and a little man defense here. Seen them kind of run this zone. 2-3-3-2, uh, three, three, depending on the personnel in. Yeah, you got to play Pangburn man, in my opinion. They're just a, they come out and shoot two line three points. I mean, instead of layups, they're shooting a three. And uh, you got to get your hand out there on them. Well, a team that can shoot the three as well as Pangburn has shown, especially in years past, we'll have a foul here on the floor. 2-10 to go here in the first quarter. Hounds up six to nothing. It does you no good having everybody on the inside when those guys can hit it from the parking lot. That's right, yeah. Good defensive possession there for the Hounds. Cripe picks up the foul. He's now got two. More at the 2.05 mark here in the first quarter as they get more in the air. And now we'll go to the line to shoot two free throws. 2.05 to go here in the first. I want to remind everybody about M&P Insurance Services. They're dedicated to being your one-stop shop for all things insurance. Give them a shout. Let them help you with your Auto, home, life, and health insurance, m and insurance services. Coach Jack Clark at the helm for the Hounds tonight. Coach Ty Ferguson's been sick the last few days and running fever today, so he's unable to be with the team. He'd be here if he could, I guarantee that. Well, I like I like the staff that we've got with LeVar and then Clark and Ferguson, that three different guys in their own way and, and their thoughts, but they all bring something to the table, and that's they love basketball, and they love these greyhounds, and, and you can see it translating, especially on the defensive end this year. That's right. Hey, they have a lot of energy, a, a coach with a lot of energy, just what they need. More goes to Curry. He's trying to look inside to Kendall. Hangburn's going to try to deny Kendall as much as possible, especially on the big play on the fast breaks. Hangburn going to pack in, pack in the defense, keep them out. Frazier finds Curry now going back out to Frazier. I've been impressed with both Jalen and Jaron as Jalen on the floor now on how hard they play. Some guys that didn't get to play a lot last year as this ball will stay here with the Hounds. They play with a lot of heart, both of them. And like you said, they didn't have a whole lot of minutes last year in the varsity games. And this year they're stepping up and playing and very excited to see them get out there and work. Noah Curtis checks into the game for the general John Moore, as we like to call him. And well, I like I like Noah Curtis's ball game as, as how he plays as a hustle player. Gets oh. after folks and, and plays good, solid defense in there, fighting for rebounds. Absolutely. And you look up and he's always around the basketball. Minute 12 to go here in the first. The thing with Curtis that's really helped him also getting a little bit of playing time is knocking down the three ball from behind the arc. He's done that a couple times. Anytime you can knock down some shots while playing the defense that you do, you're going to earn some, some playing time as we're right at the 50-second mark here in the first quarter. 6-2 to two the score. A low-scoring first quarter. It's a three-pointer on the way. It's up and good. Pangburn answers, and there you go. As you can see, Pangburn, they can shoot the rock. That's what they want. That's the look they want, even four or five feet beyond the arc. 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Not often do you see a team that would rather shoot the 30-footer as opposed to, you know, right underneath the basket. This team, that, that's a, oh, if they that's get a it, layup to them. If they get it their chance, they're going to shoot it. And historically, all five guys can shoot. Seven seconds, we're going to have to make a move here. It's now under five. Frazier goes to Curry. And Curry loses the ball, but he's fouled here on the floor. The Hounds will have to throw a quick inbound with three-tenths of a second left in the first quarter. I don't know. That's a quick catch and shoot. Might even be an alley-oop and just try to dunk it home, get it close to the rim, a little tip. That's what I say. I don't know that I don't just inbound the ball and hold it. I don't know if you can realistically it's get alive. it. That's probably the right thing, but the Hounds lead here in the first quarter, 6-5 to five over Pangburn. And Coach Ty Ferguson talks about his goal as a head coach is to hold those guys under 10 every quarter and do just that in the first quarter. Absolutely. That's a good goal to have. I like quarter goals like that in first half, second half goals. Something to shoot for, some success to build on, and they certainly have done that here in the first. Absolutely. Like you said, just have those positives throughout the game. Uh, 
you know, kind of hold yourself accountable as a unit, and I think it's it's a good strategy to have. I want to remind everybody about Greyhound Basketball is presented by George Kell Motor Company, your authorized Chevrolet Buick GMC dealer. Give them a call, 870-523-2792. Check out all their inventory online at georgekellmotors.com. Be sure to watch the auto show on Channel 8, 6.30 a.m. each and every Saturday morning and on Facebook at Cable 15 TV. It's George Kell Motors, 3808 Van Dyke Road, exit 85 in Newport. Also, I Care RX Pharmacy, located at 1117 McLean Street in Newport. Locally owned, locally loved, Eric and Katrina Schaffner. Give them a call, 870-523-5555. Hayden, we played a quarter. Have played a quarter and hands a little sloppy on the offensive end. Not had a lot of things obviously go offensively like they want to, but it always starts on the defensive end for these hounds, yes. and it has for, for years to come. Is if you can get the defense going and right there on cue, Brandon Curry going the other end, layup up and good. Curry gets his first basket of the night. Great defensive possession. That's what the Hounds are going to have to do. Defense turns into offense. Three-pointer on the way behind the arc. Back rim no good. Frazier with a rebound. Hounds look to push. Good move there by Kendall. That's got to be a block, and they call it offensive. Well, I just did a good job of selling his position there to the referee. And well, Kendall tries to go and avoid that guy back to the middle of the floor, and that guy kind of moves with him. Gets a good, I'm not going to say flop, a good stutter step would be good right there when these guys try to take that charge. As Pamer goes the other way quickly, Hounds reset back here on the defensive end. Three-pointer on the way, up no good. Kendall comes away with a board for the Hounds with 7.03 to go in the second quarter. Crike bringing in the front court here. Frazier setting things up, looking for the call from Coach Clark. Seen a lot of high-low game in these hounds. As Noah Curtis, MVP insurance three-pointer just a little long as Frazier's there to get the rebound. Goes to the middle of the floor, shoots about the eight-footer and gets it to go. That's his shot, that mid-range jump shot. He's over the last couple of years has worked on it. To me, that's his game. Jalen now leads the hounds in scoring tonight with four as the hounds lead 10-5 to five here with 6.28 to go in the second quarter. A long pass there. Stays here with Pangburn. Switching on the pick and roll. A good movement. It's that guy just a good head fake and gets a good clean look, but doesn't get it to fall. Kendall with a rebound at the six-minute mark here in the first half. And still leading 10 to 5. Hayden, this Pangburn team beat Harding Academy the other night in overtime. I was talking to Coach Francis, who was a former coach. He's now the high school principal there. And I thought, if you're going to get in overtime and beat Harding Academy, Harding Academy came here the other night and beat us in double digits. Well, the Hounds just didn't seem like they were ready. Um, I don't know for whatever reason, as Crite goes to the basket, can't get it to fall. Hounds just didn't look like themselves. I mean, scoring 31 points in a high school basketball game, you're not going to win a lot of games. That's just right. didn't have a lot of things going on the offensive end. As Pangburn gets the basket to fall there. Seemed like nothing went our way the other night. Just if it went, if it could go wrong, it just was one of those nights where everything seemed to just to not fall. The shots just weren't falling for us, and Harding brought their A game. But as you said, uh, for these guys to beat a Harding Academy, it just shows you how lethal they are from beyond the arc, and they can get hot at any time and, and go on runs. Someone was asking me, how, how is Pangburn? And I said, they're going to shoot the three so that you can be on or you can be off. You That's catch right. them on an odd night, it's going to be tough to beat them. It is. They're going to shoot it lights out. As a pass over here to the corner, three ball on the way up, no good. Pangburn, second chance at it, and there's Frazier with a rebound. And I think those boards right there, the defensive board there is, is crucial in uh, creating those turnovers and getting it down the, down the court. They're going to shoot the three. I say give them one shot opportunity. Get that rebound, secure it. Minimize their possession. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you don't let you don't let a team like Pamer get two or three cracks at it on the offensive end. No. Curry on the drive. Going baseline, has it knocked away. Kendall goes up strong and one opportunity for Kendall. That's what we got to have Kendall playing aggressive. The cleanup man. 
Well, Kendall's got some big shoes to fill at that five spot with, you know, Chris Reynolds leaving. I know that you you know all about the big man, Chris Reynolds. Well, Chris really helped mentor him last year. Isaiah was a sophomore, and Chris was a senior, doing the little things right, the stuff that you need to do. And so if he mimics Chris, he'll certainly have a big year. And not a knock on Chris. Kendall's just a little bit more athletic, that guy, as Frazier gets a, a foul call here. If, if Kendall can do the little things right, like we were talking about Chris Reynolds can do, he's got a chance for an outstanding year. Yes. In 3A basketball, no question about that. 4-10 to go here in the second quarter. Hounds up 13-7. to so We're going to get Frazier with another one. He's going to pick up his third. But you just bring the same player in, and that's Jaron Frazier. That's it. <laughs> his brother, his twin brother, Jaron. Uh, Jalen has just a little height on him, but uh, Jaron can play with the same type of intensity and heart. That's just his hair, Coach. I don't think it's very much height. It may be his hair. <laughs> <laughs> I want to remind everybody, Coach Brandon Gates in here with the booth. If you just joined us, Coach Gates doing some commentating with us this evening. Glad to have you in the booth, Coach. Uh, glad to be here. Three-pointer on the way from the corner. It's up, and it's bottom of the net. He's a returning starter, number five from Pangburn. Uh, last year, he was uh, he was one of their players that could hit the shot, played big, so he's back with them this year. We don't have a, a roster with numbers for Pangburn, so no, they lost their big man in the middle from last year, and he was a def def uh, difference maker for the Tigers as – Frazier's m &P insurance three-pointers up no good. Hounds got to run the floor. Oh, that's a walk. They get the call. That's a walk. I think I think Coach Jones of Pangburn was hoping he could get the Euro. Well, you'd get it if you didn't take the two before you started the Euro. <laughs> no. We call that the skip to my Lou. Hello. <laughs> 3.13 to go, clock moving here in the second. Uh, Moore turns it over, Pangburn going the other way. Look at Jaron Frazier. This crowd's going to pick up a foul, I think that's his third. That's going to put him in the one and one. And now Crite with three. One of the things that Crite has been consistent with is <laughs> Seems like the last few games he'll get in foul trouble a little early. He's got a set. We really need him out there on the floor. 2.59 to go here in the second quarter. Now, could that be some of the football still in him, you think? Uh, probably so, Coach. Every year I've coached I, here at Newport, I always said it takes us a few games to get that out of us because <laughs> we're aggressive and we'll foul. And Usually after Christmas break, we get those things cleaned up. Yes, we clean it up <laughs> around January. Excellent defense there by Frazier. Look at that day, guys. 2.40 to go. Good defense right here for the Hounds. Extending those, extending those guys out, but as you see, a three-pointer on the way. As Curtis is going to pick up a foul. I don't know if he touched him. He may have slapped his finger a little bit. I want to remind everybody about Delta Trailer Manufacturing located at the Newport Air Base Industrial Park celebrating 50 years of service this year. Dale and Mary Eves with Amy and Todd Norris. Give them a call, 870-523-8941. Also, Dias Scrap Metal Recycling Center have a new building at 3924 Highway 367 North. We buy cars, iron, copper, cans, brass, steel, stainless, electric motors, and much more. Give us a call, 870-523-3858. Let us turn your junk into cash today. I don't think Payne is going to miss many free throws. They're two of two now on this one as we await the third. That ties it up, 13-13. 13 all here with 2.25 to go in the half as the general brings it up into the front court here for the Hounds. We need John Moore to get hot tonight, hit some shots, and Get some momentum going for the Hounds. He's a good shooter from the outside. I think Moore plays a lot better away from the ball than coming to him. I agree. I think I think he's a he's a good shooter in rhythm. When the ball comes to him just like that. 
Good pull that, up. That's, that's, that's what you got to have. You got to have one of those guys like a Frazier to take the ball and Noah Curtis and then distribute to him yes. as Moore gets another basket. Floater up, no good. Frazier there with a rebound. And Moore now bringing it up. I don't mind him bringing it up, but getting rid of it now going into a set to find him. Yeah. Just like that right there is he can – boy, he just makes a quick move and good pass there to Curtis behind the arc up no good. Rebound stays here with Pangburn. As right Curtis there. is going to pick up a foul. We've got to box out. We, we're trying to just jump. And, you know, some of these other guys can jump just as high. They really can. And so you've got to box box back. You've got to find that offensive player there. And, and Isaiah's got to box him out, keep him on his back, get an over-the-back call. Yep, use that position regardless of, of our size versus their size. Minute 18 to go here in the second quarter, 15, 13 hounds. Well, guys like Kendall and Curry and Crite, if they do have position and go up for a rebound, there's absolutely nobody in the 3A that I think can jump over them. You're right. Agree. Without being called over the back. Right. As you see right there, Curry with a rebound. Hounds leading by a couple here with 1.10 to go. We'll see if the Hounds try to run a little clock here. Be more patient here on the offensive end. Curtis, wide open m and insurance, three-pointer, no good. Just can't get it to rattle home. As Pangburn looks the other end, that's a walk. They finally call it. They're going <laughs> to give us. They're going to give us shots from the outside tonight. They're, they're just. They're going to dare us to shoot. We've got to shoot more consistently. We've got to be able to hit that three if we're going to be a threat. Right there, I, I don't mind taking that shot when they don't respect you, but I'm not opposed to taking two hard dribbles inside if they're going to play that far off and and shoot a 14-footer as opposed to behind the arc. Yeah. 40 seconds to go. John Moore with the basketball at the top of the key. Well, Frazier thought about pulling it there. I would have. <laughs> I would have thought about it too. <laughs> Moore almost loses his dribble. Jaron not going to let that one go. Right, M&P we'll insurance three-pointer up no good. Tigers with seconds. a rebound going the other end. They're going quick. Ten seconds to go. Pulled it up from the volleyball line. Back rim no good. Moore comes away with a rebound. Two seconds. And he's got to get it off. It's Curtis at the buzzer. Can't get it to fall. But the Hounds lead here at the half, 15 to 13 over the Pangburn Tigers. As we'll have second half action coming right up. Greyhound basketball presented by George Kell Motor Company, your authorized Chevrolet Buick GMC dealer. Give them a call, 870-523-2792. Check out all their inventory online at georgekellmotors.com. Be sure to watch the auto show on Channel 8, 6.30 a.m. each and every Saturday morning and on Facebook at Cable 15 TV. It's George Kell Motors, 3808 Van Dyke Road, exit 85 in Newport.
We got some second half action basketball coming right up as the Hounds get the ball to start the third quarter here. I want to remind you about CNA Mag Depot at 2900 Highway 367 North in Newport. Before you shop out of town, check out our inventory at CNA Mag Depot. It's Kreit in the ball game to start the third quarter. I think it's very imperative that that guy doesn't pick up his fourth. As he drives in, floats in the lane, and gets a basket. That's his move, and that's his spot. That baseline drive, and he can get in the air, draw contact, hit it off the backboard. Well, he just floats when he goes up. I mean, it, it seems like people go down, and he's still going up. Yeah. Hangman spacing things out. He'll drive, penetrate, and then try to look for a basket underneath and gets it to go there. You got Kendall back door on that play, play overplaying him a little bit. But when you play Pangburn, you got to get your hand out there on the three. So it's, you know, it's a tough, it's a catch 22. Kreit, spin move on the baseline, floats up, can't get it to fall. There's Curry and can't get that one to rim home as now Curry goes to the line to shoot two. I like the effort. I love the second chance opportunity there and just reading the rebound. Get you adjusted up. <laughs> Coach Brandon Gates in the booth with us here tonight. 6.58 to go. As Curry's free throw rolls in and rolls back out. You still go by Coach Gates? Or? Yeah, that's what they oh, call me. <laughs> <laughs> coach Reynolds and Coach Bradley, same thing. Somebody said, once a coach, always a coach. We're there just coaching go. a different team, you know. That's right. Yeah, you got exactly right. three guys running the high school that all been coaching. With 6.50 to go here in the third quarter, Hounds leading 18 to 15. Pangburn running a little circle cut action, trying to – Either catch it off the top or go back door. They're just setting up the drive and the kick out after this, getting those guys moving, as you'll see it right here. Almost loses his footing. There was the back door, just didn't find him, and he's wide open underneath the basket. Well, he got lost on that play. 6-19 to go here in the third quarter. One point lead now for the Hounds with 6-10 to go in the third. There you go at the high post. Feeds Kendall and then that finding Frazier. As Frazier comes in, can't get it to fall. Second point chance. And that's Jalen Frazier who's now leading the Hounds and scoring it out with six. Great effort, 20 to 17 with 5.50 to go here in the third. A little stutter step and then the layup. On the other end for the Tigers, get it to fall. Now back to a one-point game, 5.35 to go in the third. Now the general, John Moore, finding Kreit. Spangman's almost tempting us to shoot the three ball. Frazier driving in, and they're going to get him for an offensive foul. 5-18 to go here in the third quarter. That's something you always got to worry about Pangburn, too, that they'll close inside and not let you get inside, and then they'll bait you in there, and you beat a guy, and then all of a sudden he just folds up like a lawn chair. Yeah, you got to be able to hit that five-foot pull-up jump shot, and that's easier said than done a lot of times. The easiest shot sometimes the hardest. No doubt about that. That was definitely one of Jerris Dean's go-tos was he could dribble and just stop on a dime and elevate. That was his shot, yeah. <laughs> the mid-range was a lost art for a little while there until Jarius brought it back. Jarius Dean, I'd like to see his stats inside four, 14 feet. Yeah. As Pangburn gets a tough basket to go and now leading by one. Now he's got to do a little catch up here on the offensive end, get some things going their way. Scrite with a head fake, good spin. Can't find anything. Good ball movement here as Curry inside has it denied inside. Give the young man from Pangburn credit. It's a good block. Yeah, good defensive effort by Pangburn. What that could set up is a head fake on the other end as a layup rattles home here for the 
Tigers of Pangburn. And on a little run here, now up three with 4.05 to go in the third quarter. It's at this point here that the Hounds have got to keep it together or else Pangburn will start chipping and chipping away. There you go, right on cue as you find the big man Curry inside. Hounds needed the basket for sure there with 3.57 to go in the third quarter. And that's what we were just saying at halftime. That's what Curry can do. He can, he can seal in that low block. He can make a good, strong pump fake, good move. Well, he's a, he's a big kid. I mean, 6'1", 6'2", maybe 170, 180 pounds. As he gets the three-point play the old-fashioned way, as some would say. And now Curry has six on the night. Tying the game up at 23. Free throws are crucial, Ben. We talk about them year in and year out. you got to make your, your free throws. Got to take advantage of those opportunities, Hayden, to be successful. Uh, They're just, like you said, they're just crucial. Three-pointer on the way from the corner. It's up. Can't get it to fall. Kendall with a rebound with numbers. As Moore had cried, as Moore stops. m and insurance three-pointer for Moore is up and good. That's what we needed, Moore in transition. Good rhythm shot. Absolutely. 3.14 to go here in the third. Hounds up by three. Moore's now got five. That's a game that we've seen more is very good at. He's just pulling up behind the arc. Pangburn working it, working the ball, being very patient. There's a three-pointer on the way, top of the key, no good. So Hounds kind of went into a zone there at the half. A little inside out game. Good seal right there by Curry. Can't get it to fall. Now Kendall will go to the line to shoot two. One of the things I thought Kendall did very well last year is he improved his free throw shooting from junior high to his transition to his 10th grade year last year. He really improved it, shot a good percentage, and we need that out of our post players. Well, if you, if you can't make your free throws, what they'll do is they'll hack you down low and send you to the line, and they know that more than likely – uh, all they got to do is have the position on you, and they've got possession of the basketball. Kendall can't get that one to fall. Something unique that I've seen Kendall do since he was in junior high, he stands about eight inches behind the line. And he's, he's, al he, he's always done that. Yep. So back rims that one. Can't get either to fall. So the Hounds come up empty on that possession. Still leading by three here with 2.20 to go in the third quarter. They got a four out, one in offense, working 21 inside and yeah, everybody Kurt, else out. Curtis can't, can't go inside like that because you're going to leave a guy at the top of the key and you don't want to do that. You got to let those guys on the inside worry about the uh, post guy that's kind of playing sagging down inside the paint. It's a good pass right there. Layup up and good. Now a one-point game with 145 to go in the third. Pangburn playing a 1-2-2 two, two zone. That's the shot you want. You got to be able to hit that. As Kendall's going to pick up a foul. It's a frustration foul, just like we talked about the half. That's that gets a lot of players. Well, you, things don't go your way, and you're right there by the basketball, and you just – it's effort. Uh, 126 to go here in the third quarter. Hounds up by one. I'm going to loop around right here and try to look for a backdoor cut. Eyes look inside and it's denied. Good hands. Good anticipation there by Crite. With under a minute to go, 57 seconds as Painburn will remain in possession of the basketball. <clears throat> Hounds are long on the defensive end. You, you look out there and Crite 6'1, Curry 6'1, 6'2. Obviously, Kendall 6'5. Curtis 
Yeah, he's got to be 5'11", 6 foot, lanky. Yeah. yeah he's got long six arms. Foot. There's a tough layup to go right there. And Pangburn now back on top by one with under 40 to go in the third. Got to keep grinding right here. Keep playing with heart, being aggressive offense and defense. You don't want to have any missed possessions on the offensive end, especially when you play a Pangburn team. That's right. Because it feels like those guys never miss. It's Crite goes in strong, has it knocked away. Can't get the put back. Rebound for Pangburn going the other way. Goes in, good little Euro step. And Curtis is not going to get a shot off. Pangburn leading by three here now to start the fourth quarter. Fletcher Land Surveying, before you build that fence, make sure you have accurate boundaries. Kenny Fletcher can fix you up. Give him a call, 870-523-5625. Go Hounds from Fletcher Land Surveying. Two Chicks Florist and More Gift Shop and Garden Center, your gift headquarters for every special occasion. Give us a call, 870-523-3514. Also, Fathead Pizza, that's one word, all caps. Great pizza, fresh hot sandwiches, and a salad supreme that's second to none. Give us a shout, 870-201-1313. That's Fathead Pizza. Also, Bank of England Mortgage inside the Village Mall, the Greyhound Class of 1990 lending team. See Kenny Thaxton, Rochelle Smart, Looper. Call the office 870-495-3931 or Kenny Sale at 501-590-3346. Jackson's Funeral Home at the 1900 block of Malcolm Avenue. Our family serving your family, providing care and comfort in your family's time of need. White River Area Agency on Aging at 1200 Highway 367 North in Newport, providing services including in-home care, meals and nutrition programs, and much, much more. Give them a call, 870-523-4982. Got a quarter to play here. Hayden Schultz, Coach Gates, hounds down by three here to start the fourth. What do we have to do to win the basketball game? Well, what you don't want is Pamer getting momentum, and I feel like they, they got a little swing there at the end of the third quarter going into the fourth. So we're going to have to come out with a lot of heart, a lot of aggression. We're going to have to want it more than they want it. That's the key. This is when you find out what your basketball team is made of, I think, and a good team like Pamer, that you're going to have to earn everything that you get. We've come out in a man-to-man -man defense, and I think that's what you've got to play against a team like Pamer. I think the Hounds have played a pretty good defensive game thus far. Well, when you hold a team like Pamer to 29 going into the fourth, that is a pretty good effort. Here we got to close the gaps. We've got to make sure we don't let them beat us off the dribble or backdoor us, and we've got to help out. A good hesitation move and gets the layup to go a 31 26 game now Pamer with all the momentum here with 658 to go in the fourth got an answer here on the offensive end cry getting down low good shot cry just bullies his way to the basket now he's got six on the night good move there by cry we need to have him this fourth quarter absolutely 640 to go here in the fourth well, and something that goes unnoticed on that offensive end is Brandon Curry's got his guy posted up, and he's almost just sealing him off as Crite goes into the baseline and doesn't have a real contest until right at the basket. It's good defense right here. Picked off. Who else than Brandon Curry to pick one off, Ben? Hey, he's good at it on the football field. And look at Kendall for two there. Move. Great move by Kendall. Anytime you touch the ball after you score and tell the team's possession, touching it out of the net, hitting it, it's a delay of game warning. The second time is a technical. I like the warning. <laughs> 6.08 wait to go here in the fourth. Hounds trail by one. Hounds got some things rolling right here, need a feed off of it. Yeah. Playing with some intensity here. And you get you after a team like this on the defensive end when you get turnovers like that. Yeah, that's right. That's that's our offense. Defense translates the offense for this Hound basketball team. 5.49 to go as Crite will pick up his fourth, I believe. No, maybe just his third. Oh, Crite's got four. 
scores table says three, but tell me what I got here. Well, we're going to go with the official, and that's three. <laughs> <laughs> but we need him in the game. He's working hard. He looks like he's respecting his, uh, his player, staying out there on him. John Moore stepping out. Three-pointer on the way. Hamer buries the three behind the arc. Now a four-point game with 5.20 to go on the fourth. Hayden, I always say a shooter just needs to be able to see the basket. If your hand's down, he's going to take that shot. It doesn't matter how close you are on him. If your hands are down, he's going to shoot it. Hand down, man down is what we used to That's say. That's it. Big move by Brendan Curry in the post. Curry now with eight. Because I thought he might have been fouled as he went up. No call, but he does get the basket. Now Hounds trailing by two. They're, they're, they're fighting in this thing. Yeah. That's what you want to see in a, in a Greyhound basketball team. We we're talking about what are you made of, and this is when you find out. And yeah. Not going away. you got to fight till the end. That's, uh, that's what we have in the locker room down there, Hayden. We've got fight till the end with a big Greyhound painted. Good move inside. Gets a tough layup. Good contest right there from Noah Curtis. I'm just a great basketball player with a great move and great finish there. Yeah, we got to have good help defense there. Our help defense was outside, and they were spaced, done a great job of spacing the Greyhounds out right there by Penguin. 4.20 to go, clock moving. Hounds down by four. Curry inside, little floater up and good. Curry now with double digits here. He's got 10. Curry, who hadn't been relied on as a scorer all year, has stepped up and laid the hounds in scoring tonight. Been a, been a go-to guy here tonight. Seems like our game plan is to get it to that high post and work from that area. Turnover right there. That's what happens. Pangburn wants a timeout. Good things happen when you can go get baskets on the other end. Somebody's going to eventually turn it over, and Pangburn does that right there. There will be no uh, Subway Coaches Show with Coach Ty Ferguson because he is out tonight. Uh, but we want to remind everybody that the Subway Coaches Show is always brought to you by Subway inside the Newport Walmart and also the Unity Health Newport Player of the Game Report. Will we have a Player of the Game Report, David Black? Go down and visit with yeah, we Player of the Game. Done, we, 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 will, we will have a Player of the Game. Uh, I want to remind everybody about Greenway Equipment Company, helping you cultivate success. Also, Merchants and Planners Bank. They have offices in several locations in northeast and north central Arkansas with two locations right here in Newport. Also, Norman and Baker Pharmacy at 2200 Malcolm Avenue, Mary Davis and crew, Ollie's Chicken at the Newport Mart, all bring you Greyhound basketball. Got 3.48 to go, Hounds down by two with possession of the basketball in the fourth quarter. I think you look, be patient and look for a shot that's worked for you and that's inside. There's more. MP insurance three-pointer up no good, and that's not really the look that you wanted right there coming out of a, a turnover and a timeout for the Tigers is a three-pointer on the way from the corner no good. Oh, we got lucky on that one. If that would have hit that three, they would have built on that momentum, would have been up. But you're right, we've got to get in the post. As Kendall comes inside, has it knocked away, it'll stay down here with the hounds underneath their own basket. I don't know that I've seen anybody foul Kendall all year. Tries to go up for a ball. It's Curry, but there'll be a foul here on the floor. He'll stay here with the Hounds. Well, Kendall was at the line earlier, uh, shooting two. Just, or maybe once. Saying he's been hacked quite a bit it, it down just, low. It, it yeah. just seems like he never gets a call, man. I mean, and we, I'm need not him. Saying, we need him to get to the line more. I know what you're saying for sure. We definitely need him to get there. And it's almost like just because of his size, they don't give it to him, you know. Yeah. Maybe he needs to sell it a little more. Maybe there so. In the high post with crowd attacking. Good defensive possession by Pangburn. Tipping it away. And a loose ball. Kendall comes up with it. Kendall loses it. Loose ball. Kept alive. <laughs> Unbelievable. Got to control it. Right, hey, right here is where you take a deep breath. At 240 to go in the fourth, and that's what we'll do here. Wow, I can't believe we maintained possession there. That was big. Rhythm shot, more for three, no good. Long rebound. Who else but Kylan Crite to crash the boards and get that one? 
Great effort by Kreit there. Someone's got to come get the basketball here from Curry, and we do. As Curtis, MVP insurance three-pointer up, no good. Hangburn finally getting a rebound, now going the other end. Kick out, three-pointer from the wing. It's up, and it's good. Well, they'd rather shoot that shot than a layup. Let's just be honest. They've got the layup to make there, and he just kicks it back out, and the guy drains the three. What, what can you do there with a minute 52 to go? So it's dangerous about playing a team like Pangburn. If they can hit the shots that they take from behind the arc, you're going to be in for a long night as the Hounds turn it over. We're going to need a timeout right here. That's what we'll do with 141 to go and a five-point game here, Pangburn leading. If Pangburn can make, I don't know, 25% of the shots that they take behind the arc, they're typically going to throw up about 80. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Those guys are very capable of getting into the the 80 mark. And Hound's done a great job limiting them to 39 here. I know this may sound crazy, but when we were scouting them last year and uh, the Roland kid was their best player, and they just had – I mean, if they – they had a lot of good good players, and I know they lost a lot from last year's team, but we used to say that they reminded us of a Golden State Warriors style. They wanted to all spread the ball and, and attack or shoot the three. They didn't have a low post guy that would seal and just look to play old school post. And uh, so it looks like this Penguin team is still trying to do the same thing they did last year. I live and die by the three. That's got to be close to five seconds as they do get it in. Hound's got to step up the defense here as Payman's going to play keep away with 135 to go in the fourth. Yeah, need a, need a turnover here. We're still a few fouls away, too, from getting into bonus. We may want to think about that at the minute 20 mark. Almost loses his dribble. Now driving in, kick out, three-pointer on the way. It's up, can't get it to fall but gets an opportunity now to go to the line to shoot two free throws. Minute nine to go here in the fourth. But it got him on body. I know he didn't like the call, but, you know, even from our angle, you could see it's a – we messed up when we didn't get that rebound. Yeah, you get the rebound, there's no call. You're going the other way. I think we're leading by six now. You know, if you're three-point shooting teams, being down six with a minute nine to go is not a bad thing because you know you got two possessions. You could hit those shots. You're right there in it. Now we're down seven, and we throw the ball away. That's just an effort play by Pangburn. A little, little careless by the Hounds. Crite floats in the lane, gets it to go. Right Keep now fighting. with eight under a minute. You got to step up. Put pressure on the ball right here. And a five-point game. We'll get a foul here on Curry. And not a bad foul. No, it's not a bad foul. It's just, I think, our fifth team foul. Two more one and one, and we may have to get there. Not mad if you foul immediately right here. After the inbound, if they do get it in. Step up more. Layup try. He got fouled and they don't call it. And now Frazier bringing it up. Frazier goes in the lane and he'll be fouled and it's going to be called on the floor. I know Coach Jones from Payman didn't like the call. There was a little contact, little body here. Loose ball, but little body. But I didn't like those calls when I was on that end either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody does. Goes to Frazier, MP insurance three-pointer. Can't get to rim home. Pratt goes up and he'll be fouled. Now go to the line to shoot two. What you got to do right there, guys, is when you get that rebound, you just got to go up strong and quick. If you go up slow, these other guys will take a step, jump up there and contest it or block it like that. You got to go up strong. You can't worry about the defense right there. Just get the bucket. Get the bucket. 27 seconds to go. So Crack makes his first one. Hardin Academy's coach here scouting tonight. 
I think I saw Tuckerman coach Longino here as well. He might just want to watch some basketball. I'm not sure he has Newport or Pangburn on the schedule. Unless Newport sees him in the NEA tournament. Pride's now got 10 and a five-point game with under 30. I think you got to immediately foul here. 20 seconds to go. Got a foul. Got a foul. There he goes. Curry with the foul. And that's their sixth team foul. Going to inbound it from the side. Here's the thing with Penguin. Who, who do you foul? <laughs> who do you send to the know. line? There's no right person to, to foul. You don't say, oh, foul now. Yeah. You just got to pressure that inbounds. We now do foul. And We'll go to the line and shoot a one and one. Well, here's what I like. I like that we don't push that guy and get an intentional. You know, I like the fact that, you know, we're making a play to the ball or just a touch, try to get the official's attention, get the foul, because in years past we've seen we try to call a foul from the coach's sideline, the kid just goes and pushes them. Well, you can't do that. <laughs> it's that mindset, like you were saying, that football, it takes a little bit to get that out of them. Yeah. It's the first one to fall, the one and one. 21's a good shooter. He's a guy that's hit a couple threes for him tonight. He's trying to extend that lead to seven, and they do. We're going to have to push it here. You got to get something off quick. Goes to Moore. Well, just too much dribbling. As Frazier goes in and gets it to go. Frazier's now got eight. And Penguin's going to come away with a big-time win. As if you'd asked me a couple weeks ago when we played this team, we're up six to nothing to start the, the game. I thought we were going to run them out of the gym. I did, I mean. too. We had we looked good start off. and This is Penguin team is a solid team, but very beatable, in my opinion. And Things just didn't go the, the Hounds' way here tonight. Uh, well, you've lost a couple of games and didn't have your coach here. Right. Um, and not saying that that plays a factor in, but he's not exactly out here calling exactly what he wants. Not to say that he didn't relay that to Coach Clark or Coach LeVar. It's a little different when you hear it from the actual horse's mouth as opposed to someone else. And uh, these Hounds will be all right. I mean, they, they've – I believe this is their fourth conference loss. Um, but we've always said it doesn't matter. Obviously, seeding-wise, um, you, you, you want to be that higher seed going into the district tournament. But in all reality, it doesn't really matter until you get to the district tournament because it's all about who gets hot there. As, as we saw last year, Harding Academy, for Absolutely. example. A team we beat three times, and guess what? They were the state champs yeah. at the end of the year. So, I mean, anything can happen. Is a team that didn't win the conference, didn't win the district. I believe they did end up winning the regional and then won the state tournament. So, I mean, anything can happen. You just got to get hot at the right time. You got to peak at the right time, absolutely, and they certainly did. And so there's no need, I don't think, to hit a panic button right now as Coach Ferguson in his first year and, and trying to work out some things, obviously, with the kids that he's got, trying to learn these kids, who they are, what, what we're good at. Um, I'll say this, one thing that, that's led off and stemmed off from you, Coach Gage, I think it's an effort thing. I think he still preaches effort and, and on the defensive side. Um, I think we still have those things. I think we still have the heart um, in these players, and I think that they do play hard. Uh, just wasn't our night. Couldn't get enough baskets to go for Pangburn. That's right. Yeah, good energy, good energy by the Hounds, but uh, we'll get it together. And we'll try to – Get David Black here with a player of the game. It looks like Brennan Curry. Unity Health Newport player of the game, Brendan Curry. And, uh, young man, you just played your heart out tonight. First of all, I want to I want to ask about your creating on the offensive end. I mean, obviously this team's got to have you inside. You played well inside and put some points on the board in double digits. How did it feel out here tonight? Um, felt great. Um. We tried to come out here and um, do our best and lock in, so, even though we had the 6-0 uh, before the game even started. So we just tried to come out here and win. I just guess we came out flat and they got the W. 
Well, we led the, uh, almost the entire game, and then uh, then all of a sudden those guys get the lead. They shoot the three very well. They got us out of our game plan, I think, a little bit defensively. And uh, But anyway, you guys are working, and how is the transition from football to basketball going, and how long is it going to get you back into basketball playing shape and ready to go? Uh, it's been going all right. We, go, we come in here and practice day by day, so, you know, every day we try to get better. Double digits, and I know you played hard. I appreciate you taking time to join us. Brendan Curry, who is the Unity Health player of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Is uh, kind enough to join us. Uh, Coach, you, you fill in tonight. Uh, part of your job is the assistant man. And, uh, it just didn't work for the Hounds, but the Hounds led most the entire game, but just a little too much pain burden. Yeah, yeah. We just uh, ran out of gas there at the end. Uh, we got we got we got work to do, um, but we're showing signs. We're showing signs. We you know we had a little bit more offense the second half than we've shown all year. You know we scored about 25 points. Um, so we just got to figure out how to play a complete game uh, as a team. You know our defense was there in the first half. We gave up 13 points, and then well, we couldn't get it going in the second half. But our offense was going. So it'll just take time figuring it out. You know we're still uh, getting back from football and. Uh, We'll get there. We'll get there. I think no doubt when you say you look at the statistics and you go, well, Crite got 10 and Curry got 10, I, I, I think you like your chances if you knew that happened. Right, right. Well, that was a big emphasis at halftime was attacking the paint, getting the ball uh, into the post, uh, getting downhill with our offense. And I think they did a really good job of that in the second half. Um, it was the defense that got us this time. Coach, I appreciate you taking time to join us on the uh, subway in the Newport Walmart uh, Super Center. We'll get after it and go back to practice. And how's Coach Ferguson doing? Uh, he's doing better. He's doing better. He's still not quite back yet, um, but he's improving. So, Good deal. Appreciate you taking time for us. That's it here at Greyhound uh, Fieldhouse. Appreciate you joining.